glorified. Amen. I am very persuaded, very persuaded that um, God, the Almighty, that so through President William Ruto, in very difficult circumstances, has gone nowhere. That God is still present. He is on the throne. He is masterful. And his might is not in question. I want to call upon the people of Kenya to remain peaceful, to love one another. And despite all these happenings, irrespective of the outcome, the people of Kenya must remain peaceful and united and love one another. Specifically, I want to appeal to our brothers and sisters in the Rift Valley, where there are many communities who live there, to leave this contest to lead us. Our people must stay together. They must continue loving one another. They must continue marrying and getting children. They must continue doing business together. And they must always seek for peace and peaceful coexistence. We've enjoyed a lot of peace in this country. And the politics of the day should not in any way threaten our peace and our peaceful coexistence. Kenya is bigger than all of us. We have no other country other than this one. Finally, I want to say that um, um, in our work, this work we came two years ago, it's challenging work. And in our zeal to work, in our commitment to work, probably in one way or another we have wronged somebody. I want to say to my brother, President William Ruto, if in our zeal to work, I have wronged you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I want to say, if my spouse in our duties for the boy child and her program has wronged you in any way, find it in your heart to forgive her. To our members of parliament, if in the course of duty, through our utterances and actions, we have in one way or another upset you, all wronged you, find it in your heart to forgive me. If our brothers who did not support President and myself, in the way my region and the Rift Valley supported him. And probably you find that in appreciating our people and the support they give the President and I, probably our utterances made you feel uncomfortable. We did not mean bad. We were simply appreciating the people who voted for us. And if you feel that we rubbed you the wrong way, please find it in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> to the people of Kenya, in our service across the country, as we serve you, if there is anything we have done or said that you found unpalatable, that you found unacceptable, 
please find it in your heart to forgive me. Finally, I want to say that Kenya is a country of the rule of law. I have faith in our courts of law. We have competent men and women in our judiciary who I believe will uphold the Constitution, protect it with their zeal, and always uphold and protect the will of the Kenyan people. Article 1 of the Constitution says the sovereignty of this country rests with the people. And the institutions like Parliament and Senate exercise that power as a matter of delegation so that we have a good country of rule of law as opposed to the state of nature. I appeal to all our independent institutions to uphold the rule of law and remain true to the Constitution so that we don't get in situations where we can have a country that feels that the rule of the jungle is in application. So far, it is my observation that we have a very patriotic judiciary, a judiciary that upholds the rule of law and the Constitution and always upholds the supremacy of our Constitution. And I believe that Kenya will be a country of the rule of law. I therefore want to thank you for your prayers, for your support. And uh, my foster daughters and the children, I want to apologize as a politician that your names are everywhere for no reason. Your privacy has been defiled as I fight my political battles. I want to apologize. But there's nothing you can do because you got married to a politician. <laughs> I'm very pained that my little brother, Governor Dritu Gashagwa, a good man, a man who worked very hard for his family, who died eight years ago, His will that he made in privacy is in every newspaper. His properties that he worked so hard to leave for his family are everywhere in the newspaper. I wish those who pursue me could just pursue me and allow my little brother to rest in peace. That I feel. And therefore, good people, thank you very much for your prayers. And God will see us through. Amen. I have no doubt in my mind. I have no doubt in my mind, and I want to encourage our office staff not to feel discouraged. Let's just continue working. Because we have a duty to serve the people of Kenya equally with competence, with commitment, because we owe it to the people of Kenya. Let me introduce the leaders present here. We have uh, the governor of Nyeri, Mutai Kahiga, who came to check on me. 
we have uh, the honorable member for Kipipiri, Wanjiko Muhea. We have the Senator of Muranga, Joe Nyoto. We have the Senator of Kiambu, Karungo Adhano. We have uh, the Iron Lady of Gedungori. <laughs> the one and only <laughs> Gadoni wa Mushomba. We have another steel lady, Chuma, from Kirinyaga. Where is she? Jean, Jerry, Minor. That little tiny girl is also a lawyer. Uh, we have the senator of Lamu, we have the former senator of Kakamega and secretary general of UDA, Cleo Malala, who else have I left behind? Ah, we have uh, Bazenga, <laughs> uh, the MP for Embakasi North, the Honorable James Gakuya, we also have the speaker of the Nyeri County Assembly, the Honorable Shui. Thank you very much uh, for coming to be with us here. And uh, with those very many remarks, thank you very much. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Excellencies. With that, we come to the end of our service. So I want to bring the father, Moffat, to close the service with us for us. Thank you. As I bring an end to this service, our God is in this place as we allow him to arise in our lives, our enemies will scatter. Sickness, disease, you could be experiencing in your house, in your home, in your family. There are some things doctors are unable to do, God can do them. And if you have faith in him, he can, he can intervene that for you. As I pray, have faith in God. Have faith in God that what is not possible with man is possible with God. And believe God to do a miracle in your life right now. Let's pray. Father, we bow down in your presence. In your presence there is the fullness of joy. And we thank you. God our Father, I commit your people into your hands. And I'm praying that you arise in their lives and cause their enemies to scatter. Sickness, disease, and issues that are unresolved. God our Father, intervene for each one of us. We are believing you for a miracle. A miracle in each individual's life. And also a miracle in us as Kenya corporate that you are going to intervene for our country. Arise and let all your enemies be scattered and draw us to closer, to have a closer walk with you. Father, restore love, restore life, restore abundance in our country and in our life. We want to thank you. Now as we go, Father, we are asking you to dismiss us with your blessings. And just continue to do what no man can do in our lives. And honor and glory will be to you because you are a good God. We ask you now to dismiss us with your blessings for it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. So, 
So as we stand, we will allow His Excellency and Her Excellency and the leaders to go out and thank you. God bless you. The rest of us will remain standing. We have an announcement to make. this announcement that they are, they, I'm told that there is lunch for all of us for all, our, for all the staff we meet at the staff canteen then His Excellency and his guests will be at the gazebo. So with that God bless you and have a wonderful afternoon. <laughs>